Hi guys, I'm gonna be sharing with you a story about the time my boyfriend threw a party and ended up with shit under his sink. So, um, let me start by saying that his parents had bought him a house, or not him a house, but bought a house so he could attend the high school that we went to. So, um, he would always throw parties there. It was a completely empty house. And his senior year, like, that was the party spot. I really didn't personally know him, and I never went to any of his parties in high school. But I met him towards the end of his senior year, like, two weeks before the school year was even over. So by the time we started dating, he was already in college. So um, he comes back from, like, winter break, and he's here for a whole month, and he hadn't been here for a while. So he decided that he wanted to have a party to just get all of his friends together in one place and be able to like be with him so he decides to throw a party at this empty house that he had and um his friends come his friends start inviting his other friends and um it ended up being oop i just hit myself i'm sorry it ended up being uh bigger than what we expected it to be so everybody's partying, the night is going well, everybody's talking, everybody's having fun. But then towards like 12 o'clock at night, people are starting to want to go to the restroom. But there's girls in there and they were in there for like at least 30 minutes. So I, in my head I was just thinking, oh something happened, a girl's probably crying or sometimes girls just take a long time in the restroom. So I really didn't think anything of it and the night went on. I ended up leaving early. So um, my boyfriend had to stay up and wait for everybody to leave. After that, I left, he told me that more people had shown up. So he didn't go to sleep till about five in the morning. So he ends up staying there, sleeping there overnight and then waking up and just leaving in the morning to where he actually lives. So, um, then the whole break is over he goes back to college which is like six hours away nobody goes to the house because nobody lives there and then like three months later his mom is like decides to she wants to sell the house so she goes and checks up on everything to see if everything's okay to sell it and she goes inside and she's told my boyfriend that it smelled like death in there. So I can only imagine how pungent it is because it was literally there for three months, three whole months. Like nobody had known, nobody had opened the door, three months just straight sitting there. So we didn't know what it was at the time or she didn't know what it was at the time. So she's looking in the room, she's looking in the kitchen, looking in the living room nothing was there then she goes into the restroom and that is where the smell was like you can probably tell that's where the smell was she looks in all the cabinets she checks the toilet checks the the shower nothing then she looks under the sink and there it was a huge pile of toilet paper and shit so she ends up tech or calling my boyfriend and be like, somebody shit under the sink. What is going on? This is disgusting, blah, blah, blah. And then he calls me. He's like, somebody shit under the sink. And we're trying to like think like, who would do that? Like, what is it, an animal or something? And um, so then I think back and I'm like, hmm, those girls were in the restroom for a really long time. And I know for a fact that that toilet was not working that well because people had put too much toilet paper in it so it wasn't flushing down. So in my head I'm like, hmm, I think, this is what I personally think, that one of those girls took a shit in the toilet and was too embarrassed to leave it floating in the water so they got some toilet paper and grab their shit and put it underneath the sink. Put it underneath the sink. Mm, 
sometimes I just don't understand certain people. Okay, so after that, when my boyfriend found that out, he never threw a party there again. Um, we had other incident, uh, incidences that had happened where people didn't really respect the house. So we just stopped throwing parties there. But um, yeah, this is the time that my boyfriend threw a party and ended up with shit underneath his sink. So yeah, just don't let random people go to your parties and well they weren't even random they were like girls that we knew but um just be very careful i guess 